Hi, you guys. Welcome to Reading with Miss Jody. Since Mother's Day is coming up, I thought I would read a couple special Mother's Day books to you guys, okay? This one is called Mother's Day Surprise. Violet was a young snake. She liked sliding and slithering and shedding her skin whenever it got old. In her free time, Violet often played with the other animals. She raced the rabbits. She hung next to the bats and she fooled around with the chipmunks. But as spring was sprung, Violet noticed a change in the air. The other animals were suddenly very busy, too busy to play. What do you think they're doing? Violet wondered why everyone was in such a hurry. What's the rush? She asked a fox trotting by. Things to do, he said. Violet could see that. What things, she asked. But the fox was already gone. What do you think they're getting ready for in the spring? Violet looked around for anyone with a moment to spare. What's going on? She asked the skunk digging in the dirt. We're getting ready for Mother's Day, he explained. Already, said Violet. The skunk laughed. Well, you can't start too soon. It takes time to make the perfect gift. Violet had to admit that was true. But what kind of gift? would be perfect for her mother. Hmm. Violet watched a squirrel sorting through a pile of acorns. He was very picky about it. Why are you being so fussy, Violet asked. They're for my mother, said the squirrel. She likes them crunchy. Well, that's nice, isn't it? Next, Violet saw a bear crushing some honeycombs. That looks like sticky work, said Violet. The bear agreed, but I'll have to do it right. My mother likes things just so. Oh, isn't that sweet? Then Violet saw a beaver chomping on a fallen tree trunk. What are you doing, Violet asked. Shh, said the beaver. Don't disturb an artist at work. Sorry, said Violet. I can't afford to make any mistakes, the beaver went on. When I'm done, my mom will love this. Violet was glad everyone was working so hard, but that wasn't helping her. What could she do for her own mother? Without arms or legs or teeth, she couldn't make anything like the other animals. Violet had never felt so hard being a snake. Poor Violet. She's feeling sad. As Mother Day days approached, Violet got sadder and sadder. The other animals were finishing up their gifts, and Violet still hadn't started hers. It wasn't fair. It wasn't fair at all. Then Violet had an idea. Hmm, what do you think her idea is? She practiced and practiced. Her present in secret. It was tricky business, but slowly she made progress. What do you think she's doing? Mm -hmm. On the morning of Mother's Day, all the animals were ready with their presents. Violet was ready too. Happy Mother's Day, shouted Violet. Oh my, said her mother, what a nice surprise. It's perfect, Violet, absolutely perfect. Violet was very happy. Even without arms or legs or teeth, she had shown her mother just how she felt. Oh, look how hard she worked. Isn't that sweet? And her mother felt the same way too. The end. Oh, isn't that sweet? I hope you can show your mommy how much you love her on Mother's Day. I'm good. Now, remember how I told you I have a favorite author, Robert Munch. Well, he wrote one of the sweetest stories ever, and it's called Love You Forever. 
Now, when I was a little girl, my mom read me this story, okay? It's a very, very sweet story, okay? And usually it makes mommies cry sometimes because it's such a sweet story, okay? So, it goes like this. A mother held her new baby and very slowly rocked him back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And while she held him, she sang, I'll love you forever. I'll like you for always. As long as I'm living, my baby you'll be. The baby grew. He grew and he grew and he grew. He grew until he was two years old. He ran all around the house. He pulled all the books off the shelves. He pulled all the food out of the refrigerator and he took his mother's watch and flushed it down the toilet. Sometimes his mother would say, this kid is driving me crazy. But at night, when that two-year-old was quiet, she opened the door, crawled across the floor and looked over the side of the bed. And if he was really asleep, she'd pick him up and rock him back and forth, back and forth. And while she rocked him, she sang, I'll love you forever. I'll like you for always. As long as I'm living, my baby you'll be. That little boy grew. He grew and he grew and he grew. He grew until he was nine years old. And he never wanted to come in for dinner. He never wanted to take a bath. And when grandma visited, he always said bad words. Sometimes her mother, his mother wanted to sell him to the zoo. <laughs> but at nighttime, when he was asleep, his mother quietly opened the door crawled across the floor, looked over the side of the bed, and if he was really asleep, she'd pick up that nine-year-old boy and rock him back and forth, back and forth. And while she rocked him, she sang, I'll love you forever, I'll like you for always, as long as I'm living, my baby will be. The boy grew. He grew and he grew and he grew. He grew until he was a teenager. And he had strange friends and he wore strange clothes. And he listened to strange music. Sometimes the mother felt like she was in a zoo. But at nighttime, when that teenager was asleep, Mother opened the door to his room and crawled across the floor and looked up over the side of the bed. And if he was really asleep, she picked up that great big boy and rocked him back and forth, back and forth. And while she rocked him, she sang, I'll love you forever. I'll like you for always. As long as I'm living, my baby you'll be. That teenager grew. He grew and he grew and he grew. He grew until he was a grown-up man. He left home and got a house across town. But sometimes on dark nights, the mother got in her car and drove across town. If all the lights in her son's house were, oh, were out, she opened his bedroom window, crawled across the floor, looked up over the side of his bed, and if that great big man was really asleep, she picked him up and rocked him back and forth, back and forth. And while she rocked him, she sang, I'll love you forever, I'll like you for always. As long as I'm living, my baby will be. Well, that mother, she got older, she got older and older and older. And one day she called her son and said, 
You better come and see me because I'm very old and sick. So her son came to see her. When he got to the door, she tried to sing the song. She sang, I'll love you forever. I'll like you for always. But she couldn't finish because she was too old and sick. The son went to his mother and he picked her up and rocked her back and forth, back and forth. And he sang this song. I'll love you forever. I'll like you for always. As long as I'm living, my mommy you'll be. When the son came home that night, he stood for a long time at the top of the, at the, top of the stairs. Then he went into the room where his very tiny new baby daughter was sleeping. He picked her up in his arms and very slowly rocked her back and forth, back and forth. And while he rocked her, he sang, I'll love you forever. I'll like you for always. As long as I'm living, my baby. Not the sweetest ever. Such a sweet song. You always love your mama. Always love your babies. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.